Hi, and welcome to part three of the Using the Image Map Link Mapper Tweak. In part two, we created HTML for this image map using an online image map editor. And in this particular part, I'm just going to show you how to set up your Blackboard page and paste that particular HTML into it. So let's start where we were in part two. We went through the stages of the map editor and got our HTML. If you're comfortable with another program, you might have used something different to get to this point. So that we can use it in Blackboard, I'm just going to click copy there like we did in part two. And now let's move on to our Blackboard page. You'll see in this example page that I've got two folders, Overview and FAQ. And they're the exact names that I gave to my hotspots. So I'm keeping everything simple by keeping each of my hot links or hotspots consistent. What I'm going to do first is to add the tweak or basically tell Blackboard that I want to use the tweak. So go to this more menu and three quarters of the way down you'll see an add tweak option. Click on that one. When you get to this page uh, you need to select the particular tweak that you'd like to use. So we're going to click on image map link mapper. Select that one and you'll notice when you do that uh, just down below you do get a lot of uh, tips and uh, I guess the instructions are reiterated for you so if you need reminding of anything that's a great um, resource click on add and like with all things in Blackboard we've got a little confirmation there uh, that it's been added and we need to click on OK that'll take you back to your home page and you'll see that we have added an item called tweak when your page is in edit mode off, students won't be able to see that, so that will disappear. The next step is to add your item or your image, and so I'm going to go through those steps. You've probably done all of, almost all of this before, so click on create item, and that will take us to a create item page. Because I don't want a lot of text above my image map, in the name section I'm just going to put a full stop, uh, and that will just keep the page pretty clean looking. I'm going to attach an image and I'm going to use really the same uh, steps that you probably use to attach an image. So click on the attach image item, uh, choose your file. So by clicking on this one you get a little dialog box um, telling you about your files in my documents. I'm going to click on that same image that I used in the image map editor and click open. So that gives me my file. I'm asked, do I want to launch it in a new window? I'm going to say no, because I want the image to be visible on that particular page. I don't want students to have to click through a link to get to their image map. And click on submit. So again, we get a preview. This has been added. And for Blackboard, we have to click submit just to confirm that. Back again on our create item page. You can see now that our image is in the preview box um, and it's looking pretty good. That's how I want it to be displayed. What I need to do now, and we'll show you most of this in part four of the tutorial, is to edit the HTML. And to see that, you come up to this button in here. It looks like two straight sided brackets. It's called toggle HTM source mode. And I click on that one and I get to my HTML. This is the HTML that relates to that image or picture that we've put in Blackboard. And below it, I'm just going to add some enters because line breaks don't matter in HTML. I'm going to paste that HTML we got from the map editor in part two of the tutorial. In part three, we're going to just do a couple more steps. Uh, sorry, in part four, we're going to do a couple more steps just to finish this off. And you're, you're almost there. 